no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net I've mentioned this before, but it bears repeating in Plato's cave allegory, he speaks of prisoners who have been locked in a dungeon their entire lives. They know nothing of the world except the shadows cast on the wall in front of them. Soon they don't realize they're only looking at shadows, and that becomes their reality. The question is, are we the prisoners in the cave now? We now spend roughly 15 years of our lives immersed in TV and video games that have nothing to do with what's going on in the world. There are global protests right now, and many of us are more caught up in football games or cooking shows, the football game or the other football game, and after that there's a football game and then a fucking football game! And the problem is, people exhaust their natural anger about what's going on in the world in easier ways. Their kid is sick without health care, they're, they're behind on their home payments, but they're furious because the rest Red Sox lost. This is bullshit. Shut up, Timmy. Stop whining about your Lyme disease. Daddy's busy with his misdirected anger. You you should learn from this and you go misdirect your anger. Beat up your sister or something. So I've got an idea. Maybe if the protests or the environmental destruction were covered by sports announcers, people would finally give a shit. And here we are, back at the protest down on Wall Street. The cops have clearly been training in the off-season. Wait, some of the protesters have button-hooked over the unmanned side. They've jumped the barricade. The police have pulled out pepper spray. But the protesters have masks. They could go all the... No, no, the police just beat the shit out of their star player, an 85-year-old granny for peace. She'll have to be carted off the field. Looks like the men in blue will take this round, successfully protecting the criminal activity of their owners in the ivory towers. Join us back here tomorrow when the protesters try a new tactic of aggressive singing and the cops try out tasers. I don't know why that sports announcer was in the 1950s though. Anyway, the point is, we're watching the gladiators while Rome is burning. There's a reason ultimate fighting is now more popular than ever. And, I mean, you see 300 pounds. Can we make a rule that if you're a 300 pound morbidly obese dude in a McDonald's, you can't be wearing a tap out t-shirt? You can't wear a tap out t-shirt when you yourself would tap out halfway through a, a rigorous jumping jack. Anyway, there's a real-life battle waging out there, and instead most of us are watching the Avengers. Don't get me wrong, I saw the Avengers. I'm not saying don't watch the shit, I'm just saying don't watch all of the shit. If the Incredible Hulk had used his anger screaming at the television because the Lakers had lost, instead of, of, of a beating up the assholes, mankind would have been fucked. That's the message I got from the Avengers. Plato pondered, if the prisoners were taken out of the dungeon and shown the real world, would they be able to handle it, or would they be so overwhelmed they'd run back into the dungeon and flip on the new season of Shadows on the Wall? I have faith in all of you. Step out into the light. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. I'm coming to Los Angeles, finally, doing a, uh, my full-length live show, Saturday, July 14th, coming up soon. Uh, get your tickets at LeeCamp.net slash schedule. Also, check out my brand new live album, Pepper Spray the Tears Away, anywhere music is sold. If you want a, a, a free track from that album, simply email PepperSprayTheTearsAway at gmail.com. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.